This is a Mycroft AI. Uh, this is the Mark II. And uh, what it is basically is a Raspberry Pi inside a box with uh, a touch screen. There's a camera here. There's a, I don't know if there's any other sensors or speakers. It's got some buttons on it. This one will light up uh, with the blue kind of uh, spinning around light. And then there's a, a switch that goes back and forth and a couple of buttons here. And then you can see the sort of the Raspberry Pi footprint on this side. And then uh, it's got some extra, an extra port, uh, power port. Um, I don't know what this port's for. And then this is a, a sound, like a bass portal. And if you look inside right here, you can actually see uh, that it's 3D printed. I don't know if that will actually show up on the video. Anyways, uh, this came with, um, I, I ordered this more than a year ago, and it came with some software, which is minimal. Um, I mean, not minimal, like, it's got a lot going on. It's clearly well designed and stuff, but this doesn't do that much with that software. But in any case, uh, now it's the piece of hardware that there are at least hundreds of copies of. Um, so I ordered, based on the forums, this uh, other company was selling, they have a, uh, an ISO that you can download, but this is a, um, a little, basically a thumb drive, 64 gig filled out with the Neon AI OS. And the, the, the demo for the Neon AI is, basically focuses on the fact that it can read, read something in like nine different languages. So I don't know what else it does. I haven't run this yet, but it'll be interesting to try it. And then there's also another one called Open Voice OS, which um, seems like it's actively developed and might be a better, a better use of this thing. So I'm not really sure what I want to do with it. I just, when I ordered it, I was just um, generally thinking it's, I wanted to support open source uh, software. And I also, you know, I, I had gotten into like using the Google Assistant, looking at Siri, like what can you actually have these things do for you? And I wasn't that impressed. And I thought, well, if I wanted to help improve anything, it's not really Google Assistant and Siri or, you know, Amazon's Echo. I want to have the open source thing be good. So, um, and, and the way I look at these two is that they are uh, an assistant, right? So what would you do if you walked into an office and your assistant was sitting there? Well, you'd, you'd ask, do you have any meetings today? Did you get any important emails? Um, maybe just some basic stuff like what's the weather or how's traffic to get to your, you know, when should you leave for your first appointment? Those kind of questions. And uh, most of the assistants, I mean, they're really just there to answer a question. They don't really have any kind of um, scripting. Uh, Google Assistant will script some things together, but uh, again, if I want to improve it, um, I'm thinking, what does the open source software do now, and what will be sort of the next problem to solve to, to make it um, work better? So anyway, this is a piece of hardware.